Tanse, nista neito an, nascumt nao, anosuta, capita gostig. Good morning. I guess I'm uh, on the agenda to bring you some more opening remarks or welcome remarks for uh, New North. And I just want to say that uh, in spite of all the overwhelming challenges that, that we have in our communities, there is a lot of good work going on in each and every one of the communities. I know when I look at my CBO worker here, uh, TJ Roy, uh, he organized a meeting last week and had every organization in the community present to talk about a community um, solution, you know, to, to, to some of the social challenges that, that we have. And that work is going on in many of the northern communities. And I just like to commend all the people for their hard work, their commitment in terms of um, trying to, to make our communities a healthier place to live. So thank you to all the people who work so hard on a daily basis. But, uh, you know, that hard work, it's, you know, Solutions come in small increments sometimes and, and over a long period of time and I just want to continue to commend all the, the good work that happens there. However, uh, <clears throat> I just want, uh, once again, you know, it's, it's exciting to see our uh, young people back, you know, with our Northern Justice Symposium. So I just, instead of uh, making a whole bunch of comments, I just want to share a story. I, I think I've told it be before. But uh, it's important that, that we continue to share our stories with our young people, you know, in order for them to, uh, to expand their minds in, in, in terms of finding solutions to some of the issues that we face in northern Saskatchewan. So, uh, Kayas, a long time ago, when the Creator was making the universe, he decided he was going to make it in four cycles. So he went on and he created the rock cycle. And with the rock cycle, he left some very special powers. And he stood back and he admired his creation. Then he went on and created the second cycle, which is the plant cycle. And with the plant cycle, he also left some very special powers, which for First Nations, a lot of medicinal powers come from, come from the plants. And he stood back and he admired his creation. Then he went on and he created the third cycle, which was the animal and the bird cycle. And with the animal and the bird cycle, he also left some very special powers. And he stood back and reflected, his mire, his creation, the three cycles. And he thought, before I create the fourth and final cycle, I want to leave the fourth and final cycle with some very, very special powers. But I don't want the fourth cycle to abuse these powers. So I need to find a place where I can put them. And the creator thought, and he thought, and finally he decided he'd call all the animals and the birds of the universe together to have a meeting, to think about where he could place this final gift. And all the animals of the universe, he called them together, Pisisqua, Kastamik, come. And they gathered together, and he posed that very question to all the animals and the birds. He said, I want to create this fourth and final cycle, and I want to leave them with some very special powers. Where can I put them? And right away, the mighty buffalo stood up, and he said, Creator, Creator. He said, I know where I can, you can put that. You can put that special powers. He said, let me take him. I will carry him out into the prairies and I will place this gift beneath the tall grasses. And the creator said, no. He said, one day the two legged would venture out into the universe. They would venture out into the prairie, overturn the tall grasses, and they would find that special gift and they will abuse it. And the mighty bear spoke up. He said, creator, creator. He said, let me take that gift. I will take it out into the mountains and I will place it in a cave. And the creator said, no. He said, one day the two leggeds will take, will find that, will climb the highest mountain and they will find that gift and they will abuse it. And all of a sudden, you know, the salmon spoke up and he said, creator, creator. He said, let me take that gift. I will take it beneath the sea and I will place it at the bottom of the ocean. 
He said, no. He said, one day the two leggeds will venture beneath the waters. They will go to the bottom of the ocean. The gift will lay there exposed. They will take it and they will abuse it. And all of a sudden, you know, it was quiet. All of a sudden, a mighty eagle spoke up. He said, creator, creator. He said, let me take that gift. I will take it as high as I can and I will take it into space. I will land on the moon and I will place that gift on the moon. And the creator said, no. He said, one day the two leggeds will venture out into space. They will land on the moon and they will take that gift and they will abuse it. And all of a sudden everything was quiet. And the creator, all of a sudden, tiny mole from beneath the ground poked her head up and in a weak voice cried out to the creator. He said, creator, creator. And all the animals of the universe told her to hush and be quiet. But the creator said, no, let her speak. And a little tiny mole, her weak voice cried out to the creator, 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 I know where you can place that gift. He said, place it deep, deep within the hearts of the two legged. Therefore, only those who search out and seek out that gift will find it. And when they do, they will never abuse it. And the creator went on and he created that fourth and final cycle, which was the human race, the two legged. And with each and every human being, he placed a very special gift within the hearts of the human cycle. So it's important that we, each and every one of us, clearly understand that we have very special gifts. We can contribute in beautiful ways to our communities. We can find the solutions with the help of our gifts. And collectively, we can come up with one final solution in terms of how to lift ourselves from the predicaments that we're in in our northern communities. So with that, thank you very much.